All right, today Chad and I are gonna be checking out an absolutely beautiful 1972 Dodge Charger Rally. Um, under the hood is a 400 stroke to a 494 big block, 500 horsepower. Uh, things that 500 monster. freaking horse, man. That's what everyone wants. Everyone wants all this horsepower and this car has got it. Exactly. That's a show quality paint body too. Tons of receipts on this car as well, you guys. So uh, the car does come with a bunch of receipts, um, some uh, receipts on the engine work and all that, and a laser straight show quality car. I wish the sun was out today because this paint job is absolutely gorgeous. It's got some nice metallic in it. Um, as we go through the car in general, the jams are just as nice as the rest of the car. Everywhere you look on this car is gorgeous. Hey Dalton, this one shouldn't last long, man. No, it shouldn't. It's one badass car. Hey, just look at the quality of the restoration. All the screws, bolts, and stuff are all taken out. We'll go ahead and leave the hood up, rev it up a little bit out the back. It's got a great dual exhaust sound. <laughs> Wow, that's about all I can say on this one. So this one came in and uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Like I said, we, we went all the way through and it's got aluminum North Star uh, Northern radiator in it, power steering, um, inner fenders, fender tags all there, inner fender paint is gorgeous. It's got headman headers. But everywhere we look on this thing, a uh, hideaway headlights work as well, Dalt. So the neat thing with this car is it's got all the horse, but yet it's also a show quality paint body car. You know, everything's gorgeous. And how about a rear car? Mm -hmm. A 400 Rally. Um, so they, they didn't just take and make a clone on this. I mean, this is a 400 Rally, now a 495 uh, cubic inch, 500 horse. It's got a little stall converter. And if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, um, we list out basically everything with the car on here, what's been done. The gaps are absolutely perfect. Nice, even gap. Um, across the top of the fender, top of the hood is great. I'm gonna go ahead and see if the, uh, turn the hideaway headlights on, see if they're electric or vacuum, I can't remember. Perfect. And they're nice and quick too. Um, if you look at the hideaway headlights, all that stuff's original. So it's the original hideaway headlights, no one's replaced those. So you do have a little pits there, but the front bumper's all been re-chromed. Um, as we go down the side of this car, laser straight, show quality finish. It's got some awesome Riddler rims on it. As far as our tire size goes, uh, we have, uh, what size do we have here? 245 40 18s, front disc brakes. The gap is fantastic all the way along here. The back of the hood matches up nice, top of the fender, top of the door. And then tires in the rear, we have 275, 40, 20s. Okay, really nice staggered look on here. The back end sits just up a little high. That's just how the previous owner had the suspension set up, but uh, we left it alone. It goes great down the road. You don't see many of these 71, 72 chargers, especially this nice. No, you don't. If you guys watch our YouTube videos, you watch our website, don't miss this one. I mean, this has got everything that a guy wants. I mean, the back uh, bumper's perfect. It's got those rally tail lights. They're all brand new as well. Trunk lid fit and finish. It's excellent. As we go into the inside, the door jam paint's excellent as well. Bottom corner of the door is great. Rubbers are all new, roof rail rubber. Um, the up and down quarter rubber does have a few little cracks in this one. This has not been replaced. 
The headliner's excellent, dome light works, visors are nice, factory bucket seat council. Um, back seat and all four of the door panels are immaculate. The uh, back uh, shelf is good. Also the sail panels are the hard plastic, they're in great shape too. We got seat belts for three in the back. We got the retractables up front. Um, Council's in great shape, wood grain's nice. I do have the original steering wheel in the trunk, comes with the car as well. Plus we do have some extra paint, Dalton. Uh, factory rally gauge setup. It's got an aftermarket AM, FM, digital radio, and aftermarket gauges there. So, other than that, carpet's brand new. Here's another thing to point out is just, these are huge doors, and just look how this thing lines up. Just tucks in there perfectly. Do you see a ripple or anything in this car? Mm -hmm. No, you can't see where the door starts and ends. If you're a fussy person and you want a nice 70 charger, guys, this is a nice one. Over the wheel well is perfect. There is three tiny little paint bubbles right here. Very, very small. One, two, three. It's the only flaw really I've seen on it yet. It's a little tiny paint scuff right here. A tiny little chip. Bottom of the door, bottom of the front fender is perfect. I love the rally doors too. Back of the hood lines up great. Dual sport mirrors. Again, the door fits in there very, very nicely. Still has the original uh, build on it, 1971. Uh, door panel is perfect. It's got the remote mirror, dash pad is nice. Carpet and scuff plates are excellent as well. Um, this plastic here should be just two little screws, take it off and re-dye that black. Um, that's chipped up a little bit. Other than that, this inside is beautiful. The dash pad is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Everything's put together well and tight. working. Uh, it's got 10,000, or actually it's got 1,072 on the odometer. Uh, I'm not sure if they went ahead and uh, switched that around or not. It's got the two-speed wipers. They're working as well. Oil pressure is right around 65 pounds. Temperature gauge is working as well there. Nice digital radio, and it fits in the factory hole. No one has cut that. So that radio fits absolutely perfect. It's designed for this, okay? Custom radio. Got your Bluetooth and uh, got your eight auxiliary there. Such a cool car, man. It just puts a smile on my face when we went anywhere in it. It's a fun one to drive, too. It's an absolute beast. Needs to be glued back on. back on. We have the original one as well. So. Our brakes are awesome. Now they're not power brakes, but they're disc in the front and they stop perfect. Really nice pedal too. You just feel the power with it. It's going to warm it up just a little bit here. The speedometer works perfectly, and these gauges. They're like crystal clear as well. So I'm guessing they're probably replaced, brand new. Here's our brakes, Dalton. No power, but we have a really nice pedal and there's no pull left or right.
really for as much horsepower and exhaust and everything, there's not too much for rattles on this thing either. It's very tight. Like I said, I...